For some people, it is hard for them to believe an idea when they have been taught the opposite their entire life. This was the case in 1925 with the trial of the State of Tennessee versus John Thomas Scopes, or better known as the Monkey Trial. The act that started this trial was when the Tennessee legislation made it illegal for teachers to deny the origins of man as stated in the Bible and to teach the idea of evolution in its place. In a rebellious act to reverse this law, high school teacher John Scopes was convinced to challenge it with his legal fees being paid for by the American Civil Liberties Union. The heated argument, come from Clarence Darrow, seemed to literally heat the entire room. This trial did in fact take place during midsummer, which is why the lead defense lawyer, probably sweating profusely, has taken off his formal jacket. The intense debate got so hot, they had to move it outside. Mid-speech, Darrow lifts his arm into the air, the sign for him to listen to his key point. The posture for an intrigued listener would seem to be more like this man, sitting straight up, trying to remain comfortable by crossing his leg. However, everyone else seems to have a less interested facial expression and posture. They are lying back in their chairs with their eyes drawn like this man. They're looking bored like this man. It is hard to judge, however, if the audience as a whole is convinced with Darrow's argument. Rather than debating whether John Scope's actions for teaching evolution were appropriate, the two lawyers battled for and against the idea of evolution. It almost seemed like Darwin himself was on trial. At one point, Darrow asked William Bryan, the prosecution's head lawyer to the stand, and questioned him on his thoughts on creationism. In the end, Scopes lost the case and was fined $100. After appealing the case to the Tennessee Supreme Court, Scope's conviction was thrown out due to a technicality. The theory of evolution will remain a faux pas in public schools across America and add to the battle of fact versus faith. Finally, in 1967, 42 years after the trial, the law would be reversed after a Tennessee teacher was fired for teaching evolution, claiming the law violated the First Amendment right to free speech. The social norm has since evolved into one of acceptance for the theory of evolution. It is hard for some people to believe that humans evolved from primates. Until we can prove the connection, for some, ignorance is bliss.